Hello, everybody. I wanted to talk today about s drawing s tangents between two curves using Visio. Now, a lot of people use Visio for creating org charts and flow charts and network diagrams, and they're used to connecting shapes together with lines that you would see in process flow diagrams and such. But a lot of other people have discovered that Visio can do CAD-like drawings, too. You can work in scaled or measured drawing environments, and there's a certain amount of CAD-like features that Visio can do, such as snapping to snapping and constraints and things like that. It's not a full-blown CAD product. It never will be. It's not intended to replace CAD, but there are a lot of places, a lot of arenas where CAD is used, and Visio can serve as a low-cost alternative for CAD. So one of the areas I'm going to talk about is snapping or drawing tangents between two curves in a Visio diagram. Now, if you have a bunch of circles here, say you wanted to create a, a network of pulleys, it's easy enough to draw the circles and center it, align them and everything with Visio. Pretty standard alignment features. You can use the cir circle or ellipse tool to create the circles. You can use the size and position window to accu accurately size them and, and whatnot. But to actually draw the tangents where the belt would run is pretty difficult. I can sit here and I can draw here, but I don't know exactly where the tangent is going to be. It turns out that Visio has a whole set of snap and glue options that allow us to snap between tangents. It's just that most people don't know where it is, they've never seen it, and even if they turn it on, they don't know how to get it to work. So let's start by doing that. First thing we need to do is go to the Tools menu and click on Snap and Glue to set some options. Let's bring that over onto the screen so we can see it. The most important thing we need to do is make sure that drawing aids are turned on and that we're snapping to sh shape geometry so that we can get the point on the perimeter of the curve and that we're snapping to shape extensions. For those who do a lot of technical drawing, I urge you to check out the Advanced tab. There's a lot more features under here. Center alignment, uh, midpoints, all sorts of extension, snapping, perpendicular things, and, and, and the like of that. I'm not going to go into that in much detail today because you can see there's a lot of options here. But certainly more than a lot of people expected from Visio. If you dig a little bit deeper, there's always something more to find. So I'm still finding stuff after all these years. Anyway, so we've got our drawing aids turned on, shape extensions, shape geometry, snap to option set, and off we go. For those who like to use toolbars, there's a, actually a snap and glue toolbar as well. I just right click on a blank area of the toolbar and I can turn that on. And there is the snap to drawing aids toggle button that I can turn on and off right now. So how do we get this to work? First thing to do is get the, get the line tool. That's the easiest way to work. And then just you can see we're actually snapping to the perimeter of the circle. If I just click anywhere, you can see I'll get a I can snap to a horizontal line. That doesn't do, do us much good, but if I come back to the base here, I actually get a tangent line. And as I drag my cur cursor along that tangent line, I get a red line. And that red line is sort of a dynamic tangent. You can see it's no matter where I move the cursor, that tangent's staying with me. And as I get close to another shape, that tangent line turns blue, and that tells me I've got a, a tangent to tangent line drawn between two curves, really handy. So you can see that looks pretty good. I'll start up here too. One danger is that uh, you'll get you'll snap to a 45 degree line, which looks like it's a tangent, but it's not. It's, you can see here if I come down here, I'm snapping here. It looks like I'm snapping to a tangent, but I'm not getting the red line. That's because I've actually snapped to a 45 degree extension. Visio supports vertical and horizontal and 45 degree snapping. So Visio thinks, oh, maybe he wants to draw perfectly. 45 degree line, but in this case we don't. So just come back a little bit closer to you see the tangent, rub along that. And you can see we can come over here and create the other pulley. I'll snap to the small circle, drag along the tangent here, snap to the big one, and we've got a nice system of pulleys there. You can also do it, it doesn't have to be circular arcs or circular curves. You can have any arbitrary, I've got a free form curve drawn here. Just pick any point along there. Rub, rub along. And, uh, again, we've got the 45 degree tangent, so let's come back, reset, get a real tangent. We've got a real dynamic tangent. We can snap to any other curve once we see that 
blue line. So you can see here we've, we're fighting between the 45 degree snap and the tangent snap, so just make sure you get the right one. Once it turns red, we're good. Oh, we had a little bit of a surprise there. If you get the wrong thing, just delete it and try it again. There we go. That's a little bit better. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that these curves do indeed look quite tangent to the curves that they're snapped to. And let's just summarize what we talked about. So there's two ways to get our drawing aids turned on. We can either go to the toolbar right here and toggle the snap to drawing aids button on and off, or we can go to the tools snap and glue menu and check the drawing aids option once we're inside there. Then we get the line tool and just snap to the perimeter of any curve and start dragging till we see the dashed tangent extension line. We rub our cursor along the line a little bit until we see the red line here. That indicates we've got sort of a live or dynamic tangent that's just waiting to be positioned properly. And then we drag up against another curve. Once we see the blue line, we know we've got a tangent between two curves. So there you have it, a little bit of CAD knowledge, a little tip on how to create technical drawings a little bit easier with Visio. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.